Um, Brandon Staley has explained his fourth down methods in an athletic article. Now, we have asked him about this whenever he was sitting in studio, and he said he comes from the Brad and Linda Staley uh, coaching tree, which oh, yeah. is his dad was a high school football coach, I believe. His mom was also a coach. So he just goes by feel. A lot of it, honestly, was surprising to us as he was giving us an answer because we thought he was just like data analytics to the key, like to the to every decision that was being made because the data and analytics people on the internet were saying, hey, this coach, uh, Daly, yeah. go for it. this guy's our guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is our hero. Mm -hmm. Everything we've been saying on the internet garnering a lot of attention and changing the way football is talked about and giving people careers and welcoming more people into the NFL community and the NFL media community because now the super nerds have an ability to cover the NFL because the math majors can start piecing things together. Well, on third and long, the likelihood of making it is this third and five or short though your likelihood is actually a 55 percent mm. and if you look at 55 percent you know what that is that's more than half the time right. so if you're kind of behind there is a, a much better opportunity for you to continue to go and lose a turnover if you go for a fourth and four fourth and three as opposed to not now do those stats take into account the 45 percent of the time when it doesn't work and a coach potentially gets fucking fired from it do those stats take in even the 30 percent of times when something's 70 to 30 that sounds like an overwhelmingly positive stat and dominant stat it is but three times out of ten that motherfucker's still not going to work yeah and if you land in that three times out of ten what are the ripple effects for that does your team not make the playoffs does your coach lose his job does your quarterback get deemed a bust because of some decisions that are being made in crucial game management situations now can stats tell the story on whether or not a player who's normally rated a 95 who showed up at an 81 because he's partially injured and maybe a little bit sick from something that he ate two days ago and has been getting the worst of the entire day are you taking into account that whenever you're thinking about the overall odds are you taking into account that you have a quarterback who's a once in a generation quarterback and those stats involve a lot of bum ass quarterbacks i mean i understand the arguments for both sides but staley was being heralded as the guy who was representing for the stats people in one of the most important positions in the sport of football and he was everybody looking at making the right decision they go for it on fourth they wouldn't get it the stats people would go bah, 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 in that particular setting it was 81% chance uh, success rate. I would take that every single time if I was gambling on anything. It's like, yes, gambling for sure. But if that gamble is also your career, are you going to gamble that? I think it should maybe go into it. Right. Staley has had an electrifying start to a head coaching career. They've gone for it. They have a player. They've missed some that people have buried him on. They've made some that he's been excited about. So whenever he came on our show and we asked him, we said, are you just looking at the stats all the time? Because that's what's kind of being... Uh, like looks like on the internet and the way it's being covered. He goes, no, just kind of a uh, kind of feel thing. My kind guys. of feel thing. It's just kind of how I feel with my guys. You know, I think they're going to do this. And he had all these incredible coach speak, and we were all mind blown. It was like, yeah. holy fuck, oh, this okay. dude is literally just like a my guys are better than your guys. I'm going to go for it. If the stats people say I'm right, sweet. But <laughs> I haven't had a conversation with numbers people ever. That's basically what he told us. Yeah. Now he's opened up a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Feels he like wasn't. He, he wasn't necessarily telling us. The no, he yeah. changed his tune. It, it did not sound like he was telling us the truth. No, 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 What's no, that all no, about? No. He thought. He thought we couldn't handle the truth. We can't handle the truth. The uh, math truth. Is that what it is, Connor? You think? Uh, I think it might have to do with the fact that you know there are a lot of voices on the headset from what he said, and uh, you know if we know anything about what we've talked about before, sometimes too many voices on the headset's a problem. Well, I, you know, I was like super pumped that the ultimate football guy was coaching because I thought the stats people lost their god and we gained a god. Yeah, right. Plus because one. he was just like, yeah, our guy's better than your guy's fucking. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> like, yeah, like that's what he was saying. He opened up to the athletic a little bit more. There is levels to this uh, shit. Uh -huh. He's do he's using stats just like we thought oh, yeah. more than anybody uh, else. Yeah. He's going into drives. What's the first play of the drive? What's the whole thing? Yeah, we're either green light, a go, or a no, and this, and they'll know the play caller Lombardi, when it was not related to Michael Lombardi. Nope. Yeah, I don't know if it's related to it might be. Uh, Trophy Lombardi. Yeah. Not, Lombardis are all over the place. Hey, how you doing? How you Keep doing? it moving. How How's the how family? The Lombardi play caller, though, he needs to know going into every drive if it's a go or if it's not. If it's fourth and less than four, we're gonna go on this drive just because of how the world is spinning or something like that so staley opened up in this athletic article and i mean they're using stats more than anybody else uh, by huh? the way i like it i appreciate it uh, i think it's probably the right move but feel has to be added in there and staley's also doing that right isn't he i think i mean i think so but don't, don't you think also that if you're thinking about it this much like that kind of just goes into like the exact like it's not a feel thing like if it's you right. have all these different like parameters for okay we're, if, if we have this situation we have we're going, quote? like it 
I don't know. I feel like Let's it's almost... Let's put the exact quote up here. Paralysis by analysis. And I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't know if that is... So, obviously, this is a lot. It's an athletic, uh, the athletic article, and hashtag PMS Poop Watch trending number one right now. Here we, here go. we go. Uh, only six people would be involved in game management decisions on the headsets. Staley, his three coordinators, offense coordinator Joe Lombardi, defense coordinator Ronaldo Hill, and then special teams coordinator Darius Swinton, plus two staffers devoted exclusively to game management strategy. Strategy, Director of Football Research and Analytics, Adita Krishnan, Krishnan, yep. Krishnan, yeah. Krishnan, and Offensive Assistant Dan Shamash, who had previous game management experience on Anthony Lynn's... Oh, yeah, well, uh-oh. well that's hey, no, hey, no offense, okay, no offense to uh, Shamash, but he was the game word. management with... Uh, I don't know if that's the name that you would want to... I got him fired. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Lynn, I mean, there was five, six games Anthony Lynn's last year head coach of the Chargers where mm. little game management <laughs> yeah. lost them. So we game. like to call a red flag. No, well, just because Schmosh was there doesn't mean Schmosh was part of it. Yeah. Oh, you know true. what I mean? Schmosh was learning. Schmosh learned from it. Yeah, but if he comes from a coaching tree, you know, for Staley, it's his parents. For Schmosh, it's Anthony Lynn. No, no, no. But Schmosh is... Let's not just blame Schmosh. Oh, okay. Sure. All right, let's go back. Those are the six people on the headset. Uh, those... Those six people are in complete alignment in terms of how we're going about these decisions, says Staley. You don't have time to have a big powwow. You don't have time to have this intricate back and forth on a headset during a game. Next, Staley constructed the mechanics of the fourth down decision making in a yes unless system. At the start of each series of downs on offense, win probability models from the Chargers football research department would indicate the number of yards the offense would have to gain on first, second, and third down to make it a go for it or green in the team's lexicon decision. Say the Chargers have a first and 10 from their own 40-yard line. And say the model indicates that they would increase their win probability by going for it on fourth down as long as they have four or fewer yards to gain. That information is communicated to all relevant parties, including Lombardi. Lombardi can then call plays on first, second, and third down, knowing that if he gets the fourth and four or less, the Chargers are going for it, unless Staley says otherwise you can be a better decision maker if you have things modeled ahead of time staley says you have to go into the game with a plan and then with uh then that way you're saying no as opposed to deciding yes or no i'm going into it saying we're doing this unless with the infrastructure built the chargers enter the 2021 season it's not just about the one down and on fourth down staley says it's what's happened on the previous three and that changes the way you play and changes the way they have to play you and that's what I wanted to do was use mindset and math to our advantage. Huh. All right, boys, we're 0 for 6 on third and less than 5 today, but this the chart says fucking if it's fourth and 5 or less, we got to go. No, so I think what he's saying is we are going for it every time on fourth and 4 or less. If the thing, the research model says it, I'm going to be the one that's going to say no. Everybody is understanding that we are going for it. So it isn't a, are we going for it? Are we not going for it? If it's fourth and five, everybody on the field knows we're not going for it in this situation. If it's fourth and three, everybody knows we are going for it. Unless Staley goes out and says, no, you guys look like shit. Get off. <laughs> Haunted. That was a lot. Yeah. 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 Hun. That was a lot. So everything he said to us was a lie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's a sandbagger is what it sounds like. But, you know, they're using more. They said model in there. They have a research development team that's sending information. There's a Shamash is on there and Aditi's yep. on there. I mean, there is, this is, he's more anybody. And he's sitting right here fucking telling us he doesn't do anything. I'm from Brian Linda. <laughs> yeah. What was that? He, yeah, he, was in the, he was in the hot seat and he didn't want it to get any hotter. Hey, welcome to the Thunderdome, pal. Uh-huh. Okay, geez, Louise. I, this makes Brian's sense. not using AI. By by the way, this makes yeah. so, they might that might be what the fucking model is, right? The yeah, model is, is you aren't worried about it. It's calling their plays. Who? AI's coaching the Chargers already. No, they are not. There's a he put up that quote. What was the last sentence yet again? What was the last sentence he said? He, he clearly said it's not just AI. It's not just about one down on fourth down. Staley says gonna have to take the ticker down, and that changes the way you play and change the. Uh, use mindset and math to our advantage. Yeah, until the AI it's not just AI. Until the AI no. comes it's mindset. Mindset. Yeah. Go mindset. for it or you will die. That is interesting that, that he just broke that whole thing down, you yeah. know? Because maybe Sweet Blake gets a job with fucking Chargers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get maybe job, Sweet Blake and Lambda go sign up for the Chargers and they're just making. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Hello, NFL head coach Sweet yeah. Blake. Yeah. Give that guy a headset. That was dialed up way too quick. Well, sweet, the thing about Sweet Blake is. 
you know, Sweet Blake's going to have to continue to massage these algorithms and yeah. codes. Uh -huh. If he wants these algorithms and codes to make the right calls on fourth down and not the, ah, you're fucked calls on mm -hmm. fourth downs, Sweet Blake's going to have to do what Sweet Blake does to Lambda and all the algorithms that he potentially gets his meat on.